and that's the exact thing that's holding people back at the same time. So it's it's kind of a uh, kind of like a not not necessarily funny funny paradox, but. Hey, what's up everyone, it's Karri Hänninen here. Uh, if you don't know me, I play some fast riffs on YouTube, but uh, I'm mainly a guitar teacher that uh, focuses on picking hand speed and end rest building, and everything related to accuracy, timing and tone, and stuff like that. This is a little bit different type of video on my channel. Usually I'm just playing through some you know, fast riffs, uh, fast covers, fast originals, but um, for the past couple of years I've been really focusing on teaching, and uh, I noticed that you know, good, high quality material for metal rhythm guitar is hard to find. And I think the main problem is that people are trying to be helpful when they're not exactly sure on how things actually work. So in today's video I want to talk a little bit about how I think that the usual advice you hear why that is actually the thing that's stopping you from achieving your goals on rhythm guitar. So let's say that you're a guitar player that can't play you know Master of Puppets by Metallica. That's a pretty classic goal to have. And uh, at this point, you're usually wandering, you know, around internet trying to find advice because you're stuck at, let's say, 160 or 180 BPM, uh, trying to push forward in the speed. Well, what you will find is there's like, you know, people are saying, you know, many, many different types of advice, like, you know, on like how you should hold the pick, on uh, you should be using the wrist, you should be using the elbow, you should have this much of tension, you should, uh, you know, do pick slanting to play the riffs properly, and uh, honestly. The, the thing is that all of those things are important in a way and at the same time you should forget about all of that stuff. So what I mean basically by this is, uh, let's say that you have a problem at 180 BPM and you can't go faster. Now you hear online on a video or in forums you hear someone say that you have to do this in order to play fast. Like, let's use the classic example of like, you know, you can't have any, any extra tension so you have to minimize the tension and be really relaxed when you're playing. And okay, so now you have this assumption that everything has to be really relaxed when you're doing things. So even when you're try trying to build up speed, you have to be relaxed. And that thought by itself, that idea by itself, that's the thing that's wrong. So you can think of it as like, you know, if you have this belief that you have to be really relaxed when you're practicing, that's almost like putting handcuffs on you and saying that, okay, like, you know, let me hold your hand from here and now try to play fast. It's like completely limiting what you what you could be doing basically and uh, I can tell you kind of the big secret for effortlessness and uh, range of motion and stuff like that is uh, honestly after you have uh, gotten the speed and endurance then let's say you practice 10 more years after that you're going to be pretty damn efficient and relaxed after that but uh, the first point when you're trying to reach for that speed and endurance that that's the point where you actually you don't want to have too many assumptions on what you have to be doing. Like the, the funny thing is that uh, I have a training program right now with around 25 students in there. And uh, we go through like set of exercises, set of routine uh, to build up the picking and speed in the beginning of the program. And uh, always the students that get the best results, they, they have the most inefficient technique out there. They're, they're doing all of the things wrong that, you know, usually people are saying that you, you have to be doing or you don't you, you shouldn't be doing. So basically, it, it's, uh, it's pretty well thinking that, you know, that uh, probably <laughs> vast majority of guitar players right now are trying to increase their speed. They have these wrong beliefs in them that, you know, how they should be doing things. Yeah, like I, I've seen people like down pick 400 BPM, alternate pick 300 BPM. It's, uh, you can actually reach like really high tempos when you're not thinking of like what's right and wrong. And obviously there's like, you know, these general principles to avoid like, you know, getting injured and stuff like that. Uh, but uh, I feel that the biggest problem regarding why people are getting stuck and plateaued is that people are making so many lessons on what you should be doing. And uh, honestly, it's a really complex combination of multiple things that you have to learn and have to do in order to get that speed. And when you have this conscious effort that you're trying to think and really trying to control things when you're going there, that's usually the... Uh, the place where you're getting plateaued and uh, I, honestly it's it's pretty damn easy to increase the picking hand speed 
it, it's actually it's not that difficult. It's uh, I, I still have yet to see like in the past year or so like anyone who can't do speed building once we're doing specific exercises and focus points. So it's uh, uh, so I think it's mainly because people are getting confused by the advice given by people. And it's it's not that people are you know purposely misguiding you. I, I think it's just there's this overall assumption that people have that you have to do things specifically on guitar, and that's the exact thing that's holding people back at the same time. So it's it's kind of a uh, kind of like a not not necessarily funny funny paradox, but you know limiting beliefs that everyone thinks is true is the thing that's holding people back. And uh, when I've seen, you know, first-hand people going from like uh, a recent student also went from like 195 BPM alternate picking 16th notes into 290 BPM in one week, basically. It's, uh, I see it, I, I know how things work out. It's just, uh, I, I wish there was like more material out there that actually told you this. So, you know, that's the reason why I'm making this video, for example. And I'm also planning on doing, you know, covering more topics such as this that I think, you know, you should actually do if you try to increase the picking speed, endurance, timing, tone. Basically, if you want to play any like Metallica riffs or any any target songs that you have in mind right now and you're stuck with, I'll be, you know, making more videos like this to make sure that, you know, there's uh, as high quality information out there as possible. And uh, something I want to say is that I, I won't be focusing on having like a super high production quality on these videos. I'll be focusing on talking about the actual topics that you need to be knowing if you want to play faster. So that's the main focus that I'll be having. So if you're looking for like really, really fancy editing and uh, really quick cuts and stuff like that, uh, this is not going to be the, the type of video I guess for you. But uh, if you're a guitar player who really wants to improve, you want to get that through that speed plateau, you want to get that extra 10, 20, 30 BPM, then I would highly recommend subscribing and watching the future videos that I have also coming up on this channel uh, because this is uh, I, I made this to be my mission for 2022 and onwards to help as many people as possible uh, with their picking speed plateaus and uh, this is my first video on this journey so uh, let me know what you think if you have any questions uh, feel free to reach out and we'll see you next time